Hey, I'm Tamson. This is Carly, and we travel around Australia in Calypso, our motorhome. Together, we make destination sacred grounds. Today, I'm going to take you through No Bake Cookies, the perfect cookie for living van life. Or even if you don't like cooking, it's so simple and so easy. I have not yet made these, so this will be my first time. Fingers crossed I don't mess them up, but I mean, really, how can you mess them up? There's peanut butter, oats, and pureed banana. So if that's your vibe, stick around as I maybe mess them up or make them really good and show you how to do it. Quick oats. Instant oats, the oats that you make your porridge with in the morning or whenever you like to eat them. Peanut butter, the kind that only has peanuts and salt, no added extra nasties. So that's a good one. I usually have organic. Sometimes I don't have organic. It depends on what's on special. A really ripe banana. And that might be too much because it's a little bit too big, but a really ripe banana because we're going to squash that down and make it quite watery. We're going to need one cup of oats, half a cup of peanut butter, and six tablespoons of pureed banana. And I got this recipe, by the way, from online from Kirby's Cravings. There was a few recipes that was similar to this, um, but I just kind of picked this one. And you can make your own things, like you can add in your own extras with it, dried fruit, nuts, chia seeds, and all the other kind of wonderful things that you might like. Chocolate, definitely chocolate. <laughs> okay, we are ready to go. <laughs> actually take long to mash up at all. The riper the banana, the quicker the mashing will occur and it will be watery and ready to go. Now let the good times roll. You're going to need one cup of oats. Half and another one. Whatever you feel needs to be done. The peanut butter bit oily at the top. I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir around just to get the proper consistency. It's looking a bit better. It's not that oily. More of the organic uh, peanut butters I find are more oily and I think the more oily they are at the top the better. Um, but you just gotta, gotta do this each time you want to use it. Okay. So half a cup of this, mm. smells freaking amazing. Peanut butter is a bomb. Vegemite's better, but you know, whatevs. I don't know about Vegemite cookies. <laughs> oh, uh, oh wow. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't be any good for those cooking shows. I remember when I first started vlogging and my sister's like, oh, you know, we were just laughing our heads off at you, like for putting, or just pouring all the food over whatever. It wasn't done gently or mindfully or um, in a nice looking way. It was just like, come on, get in here, get in my belly. That's just the way I do things. I like to be mindful, but, and I do mindful eat sometimes, but I love food so much. You know, I like it to get into my belly at times as well. Okay, so half a cup of peanut butter, six tablespoons of banana puree. Look at that stuff, right? Good. Okay, I'm thinking maybe some chia seeds would go really well in this, so I'm going to put some chia seeds in. Chia seeds. Let's go with about maybe... A tablespoon and a half. My handy dandy thingy me bobby. Mm. So I think I've got the texture right. 
time will tell. It's good to refrigerate this as well for about half an hour to an hour after you've uh, put them into the bowl so that they harden up a little bit. Another thing I forgot is that we need some sort of tray or plate and some baking paper. I don't use baking paper. This has been in my van since I moved in here about 16 months ago, but I have it and I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, no baked cookies. Three, four ingredients, including chia peanut butter, oats, banana, and chia, and lots of mess. By the way, I don't understand how people don't lick the bowl. Like, why would you not lick the bowl? Especially with chocolate cakes. It's been something that I've done since I was little, and it's pretty freaking awesome. Anyway, mm, I reckon maybe put it in the fridge first, give it some time to settle. I reckon maybe I could use chocolate too. We'll see. Let's see how we go. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe they're too big and not flattened out enough. I don't know. I will know in time. The moment we've all been waiting for. Cookies are ready, I think. It's been about an hour now. And just having a look at the, uh, the texture's still quite doughy. So I reckon perhaps we could have put in more fruits and nuts or seeds or something like that. Hmm. Not too bad. Still doughy. Golden syrup would be amazing in this. But I guess the thing is, with a three-step mix, it's got no baking, which is perfect for van life. You can pretty much put whatever you like in here. So I would probably put more nuts and fruits and seeds in. But you can put whatever you like in. So anyway, if you've gotten anything out of this vlog, give it a like, give it a share, subscribe to the channel. If you want to take it a step further, you can support me on my Kofi page. The link is down below. Until next time, stay safe, stay present. This would also be really good to do with. Mm. This would also be really good to do. Get my hair out of the way. This would also be really good to do with your kids, your grandkids, your nieces, your nephews, your neighbors. Nubic cookies. It smells pretty good.